guys, Kat here, and today we have a full body workout. It's gonna be no repeats. So we're gonna have strength, cardio, and abs. I'll be using 20 pound weights and also 15 pound weights, because I know you guys like to know that. And every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. During those 10 seconds, I'll show you a preview. I could hardly say that. Show you a preview box where you can see exactly what the next movement is. All right, so we are gonna get warmed up and get ready. I'm sporting our new beanie. I'm super stoked, it's a slouchy beanie, and it's super cozy and fits my bowling ball head. Can't get better than that. All right, let's get warmed up. Arr. All right guys, let's start out with that warm up by bouncing it out and crisscrossing those arms in front. Nice and loose in the shoulders. Starting to get that heart rate up a little bit. Whew. Nothing too crazy yet. Three, two, one. And from here, keep your core nice and strong. Really think about tucking it in. And we're gonna bring our arm up and around. So as soon as it can't go anymore, turn your palm facing the other way and bring it around. So nice shoulder rotations. Again, keeping the core nice and strong. Let's go for two more. And last one, and then go ahead, go the other way. Nice strong core, big rotations. Like we're swimming with one arm. <laughs> Three, two, actually let's go a few more because I feel like that was uneven. <laughs> I feel like that's common with fitness instructors where we start on one side and we're explaining. We do a lot more reps on one side. And let's go, done, nice job. Shake it out. We're gonna go with a squat and kick. So you wanna think about keeping your chest up for the squat, push your butt back and sink down. And you wanna try to get at least 90 degrees with those legs. But if your hips aren't allowing that right now, because you're not quite there in your fitness journey, that's all right, just try your best. And uh, back is nice and flat. I always like to check it. Let's go two more. Kick, last one, and kick. Butt kickers, continuing with the kicks. Drive the knees in front slightly. Kick that booty. I was like, should I wear the beanie for this? I decided not to because of all the jumping. I want to wear it later. I don't want it to get sweaty. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, so we are gonna walk to a plank position. And from here, keep your core nice and strong as we twist up towards the ceiling. Really think about pressing through those fingertips and that, the palms, the palms of your hand. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go one more on each side then. We're getting the obliques here as we twist and the shoulders. And then go ahead, flip it around time. I love adding this one in. Have your fingertips facing towards the feet. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Puff out that chest. Tuck the chin in the chest and bring those hips up. Squeeze the butt. So this is strengthening our backside while we stretch our front. And Goodness knows we all need to stretch our chest. <laughs> Every single one of us. And up, squeezing the shoulder blades together at the top. Let's go two more. Pop. Last one. And nice job. Let's warm up the core a little bit. So coming down to that ground, we're going to go with some regular bicycles. Think about keeping that back flat on the ground, and this doesn't need to be rushed. Take your time, point your toes, make it pretty, and go side to side. Again, really think about pressing that core into the ground. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Nice job, all right. So we're gonna plant one hand down. You can have your fingertips facing to the side, pressing your hips up and reaching. And a little reverse table with a reach. This is really awesome to stretch again the front side while strengthening the back, getting us used to holding our own body weight. You can always stick with the version that we did before this where we have both hands on the ground if this isn't for you yet. And let's go two more. Last one. And go ahead and make your way up however is best for you. Bounce it out and start getting that heart rate up a little bit more. Jumping jacks. Woo. Woo. Oh yeah. It's gonna be fun. Today's gonna be fun. Because I said so. <laughs> Five, 
four, three, two, one. All right, two more moves, guys. So let's have our feet together if possible. Or you can always bring them out a little bit. We're gonna have pointer finger, like we're James Bonding it. We're gonna go side to side. Inhale, center, exhale, dip. So stretching out the sides of our bodies, getting those QLs. Whew. I love this one. It's from Hot 26 Yoga, as they like to call it now. <laughs> Let's go one more and shake it out. All right, guys, we're going to finish out with some skaters so that we get our heart rate up, but we also get some stability work in. So side to side, try to hover your back foot, especially if you've been doing skaters for a long time. I want you to try to challenge yourself with that balance. Keep it going. Doesn't have to be super speedy. We're still just warming up the body, getting mentally ready. Whew. Let's go three more. Last two, one more, and let's get started. All right guys, 10 seconds. Go ahead and look at that preview box. We have a back lunge with a single arm press. So I'm gonna keep the weight here using a 15 pound in my right hand, and I'm gonna step back with my left leg. Come up and press. Now if you need to modify, you can always tap the ground. It'll take out some of that stability that we need. So do what's best for you. I keep my arm out for more stability. We have three strength moves, two cardio and one abs. And then we're gonna repeat that two more times. Of course, not repeating the moves, but just the, just the way, the way it is. <laughs> the format, that's it, that's the word and up. Really getting the front of the shoulder here. Make sure you keep your elbow in when you're doing this. It's not out like this. Sink down and press. Nice and controlled. Okay, so we're gonna go right to the other side right away. How exciting. <laughs> then we only have a, one more strength move before cardio. All right, so dumbbells in the left hand. I'm doing a back lunge with my right leg and press. Keeping the core strong and press. Turn it this way so you can see a different angle. Nice and woo, controlled. We have a body weight movement after this, which if you haven't done before, it's called a kick sit. I challenge you to really just take your time learning the movement. We're also here to learn, and remember this is a video. So if you need to stop and rewind, it's worth it. Then you'll have another move in your book of exercises. All right guys, so go ahead and place that weight down safely, nice flat back. Tabletop position, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, popping the knees off the ground. If I kick to my left, it's gonna be with my right leg. This is a strengthener as well as a hip opener. So make sure you plant your foot and really open up those hips when you do this. Take your time. Because this can easily be made a cardio move if we speed up the pace. Engage through the shoulder. Make sure you're not dipping down. You're pressing through that hand. Your quads are going to feel this. Shoulders, abs, hips. If I can do it, you can learn it. And out. When I first learned that, it was very confusing. Okay, So don't feel bad if you couldn't get it right away. All right, so we have three skater, single leg burpee. A little OG cat. So one, two, three down, up, and jump. If you can go all the way chest to floor, one foot, that is for you, but you don't have to. Three, down. Another option, you don't have to jump. You can step out that walk. Down, up, jump. Keep it up, guys. Two, 
and down. Okay. Eight ankle taps, two squat jumps. So I'm really grateful for our preview. <laughs> okay, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Down, up. You can always slow it down and tap it and do regular squats. That's okay too. One, two. We have an ab move after this. So if you need to grab a mat, just be prepared. And up. Nice job, guys. Ah. So fun. <laughs> Finish that. Ah. Okay, so what do we got? Um, dumbbell toe touches. I'm gonna grab a 10. Okay. Oh, I'm not in view. I'll just go right here. Okay. So up. Up. If that's too much, bend the knees and come up. And you don't need to use a weight. <laughs> As you can see, my mat has no pointless. <laughs> and up. Use that breath. Exhale up. Inhale down. <sighs> nice job, guys. Back farts. That's where that mat would have been nice. <laughs> and up. Whew. And up. Back to strength after this. Okay. All right. So, next up, we have just. Okay, so a nice um, calisthenics move. Saw that preview. Plank twist. Come up over scorpion and switch. Plank twist the opposite, come up and scorpion. Now, if that's not for you, just go into a three-legged dog and go straight up, okay? If you have lower back issues, I do not recommend doing the scorpion part. If you want a little bit more, you can flip it. Flip it and come back. Think about making it pretty. That'll help you do the move better. Up and over. And up. Okay. Oh, I love that one for my triceps. Really feel that. Okay. Reverse curls. So we're not only working biceps, but we're also working forearms. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Palms. Facing down. Whew, if this is too much, you can always do one dumbbell at a time. You want to think about being a dinosaur though, okay? So make sure you keep your elbows in, core strong. Working the top of the forearms and biceps. Whew. Up. Keep going, guys. Oh my god, my lotion smells like cookies. Why would I do that? <laughs> Keep going. Up. Ooh. Three, two, and done. Okay, so roll back, reverse table, arm rotation. So this is going to be a variation of what we did in the warm-up. We're going to start with a roll-up. Roll it up, hand down the ground, reach, rotate that arm. Roll back, plant the hand, and rotate. Keep pushing those hips up. But this one was really fun. It's nice because it gets some shoulder mobility and strengthening as we press ourselves up and then rotate. It gets the core when we do that roll back. Make sure you avoid the head and the neck. You can always just stick with doing the reverse table. That's why we practice it in the warm up so you wouldn't be entirely lost up and around. So many ways to move our bodies. 
Why not do it all? <laughs> okay, so mogul, ooh, sorry about your shoulders in this one. Mogul 10 rock climbers. Okay, so jump your feet to the side and then 10 mountain climbs. Five, six, nine, ten. Jump to the side, wrapping it around, really getting those obliques. Keep your butt down. Jump. As you can see, we're on a cardio. Let's go, guys. strong point. I actively avoid them. So that's why I force myself to do it in our workouts. <laughs> okay, start out the middle. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're getting super bouncy here. If you don't have room side to side, no big deal. Just jump into place, straight up and down. Really getting the obliques. We twist. Two, four. One, two, four. So we're thinking about turning those feet side to side. Oh, we're doing so good. Woo. Hello, calves. <laughs> small crunches for penguins. Oh, okay. Oh, little baby crunches. One, two, three, four. Reach. Two, three, four. If that reach is too easy, move your feet farther away from you. Really think about pressing that belly button into the ground so you're not using your chest to bring yourself up. Oh, okay. Get in front of the core here with the small crunches. Then we're getting the sides with these twists. Really reach for the inner part of that foot. Up. Two, three, four. Nice job, guys. Okay, so back to strength. Last three strength moves. We have close rows. I'm gonna grab my 20 safely, back is flat, feet about hip width, neck is neutral, row back. I'm squeezing the shoulder blades together and I'm keeping my core strong, so I'm engaging my core so my lower back doesn't jump into it. If you find that it does, reset, shaky, shaky, wiggle, squeeze the core, hinge and come down. Neck is neutral. Look a little bit in front of you. And row. Okay. 15 seconds, guys. Almost there. Squeeze. Finish it out. Core is strong. Gotta keep it engaged. Three, two, and one. Okay, so close grip curls. I'm gonna grab my 15s. Again, place your weight down and pick it up safely. You don't wanna hurt yourself when you're setting up. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Touch the dumbbells together. Close. Core is strong. Ooh, this one is hard. And up. Ooh. This one's crazy for me. Squeezing that core, making sure we're not using momentum to bring that weight up. Ha! One of my friends named my bicep veins. <laughs> one of them's Thor, and the other one is Ted. And I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, hey Thor, he's showing. Three, 
two, one. Oh, what do you mean it's not natural to name your bicep by veins? All right, so diamond push-ups. If you need to come to the knees, do it. Um, if not, keep your elbows in. Okay, so this is really hitting the triceps. Make sure you keep your core strong. If you can't even do regular push-ups, I recommend just practicing those onto your knees. Just make sure your hips aren't up like this. Okay, none of that. That's not working it. Push your hips forward, keep your core strong, come down and press up. Okay. Woo. Keep going, guys. Hello. Hello, triceps. <laughs> is one of my favorites. So instead of just doing skaters side to side, you're going all over the place. And if you don't have room, you don't have to go all over the place. You can just go side to side again. But I really love this. And then try to go right away. So bring your leg in back. Because we're always moving in different angles in our daily lives. Don't trip on a dumbbell. <laughs> challenge you just go right away. Three, two, one. Okay. Two more moves, guys. Plank jack to pipe jack. This one's mean. Okay. So, jump, jump up, jump out. If you have tight hamstrings, you might not be able to do the pike. In that case, just stick with regular plank jacks or you can tap it, okay? This is nice because you'll feel your core. flat on the ground. If it's not, your lower back's going to jump in, and that's bad news. <laughs> you don't want that. Whew. After that last move, I can't really support it. Whew. No shame. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> nice job, guys. It's a long time in flutter kicks, so... Try your best. If your back jumps in, bend the knees and do these. Okay. Ah. <laughs> beep. Oh, cool. That never happens. All right, my dude. So let me turn this off. It's going to beep one more time annoyingly. Well, that's twice, but you know what I meant. Okay. So let me know if you repeat this workout. We are going to stretch it out right now. So important to do. One of my biggest fitness mistakes was not concentrating on mobility and flexibility. Caused a lot of injuries. So let's try to avoid that. Um, or if you want to do another one of my workouts, I have a ton on my channel with like five minute ones to full hours. <laughs> so you can always stitch that on. Just make sure you come back to stretch. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, so let's go ahead. We're going to lay down on our tummies to stretch it out to begin with arms are out in front uh, elbows are going to be right under the shoulders so we're in sphinx pose feet about hip width press your hips in the ground so you should feel that now in your low back 
and then press the palms and forearms on the ground, open up that chest, nice soft face, get the shoulders away from the ears, breathe. Now if you want a little bit more, go ahead, press your hands on the ground, raise your elbows off the ground slightly. Just make sure you're still pressing your hips on the ground and your elbows are in. And go ahead, come down. Whew. All right, so a little spider action. We're gonna bring our hands, I'm gonna face like this. Hi. <laughs> so we're gonna have our hands like this onto our fingertips and then bring your chest up and then drop your shoulder and your ear. Inhale and exhale. So this is getting in the front of the shoulder and that chest, which again, we could just all use. I love that you guys are working out with me. So thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure in workouts that you either do on your own as well, that throughout the week you work your back Go ahead, shake it out. We're gonna press back onto the knees, big toes together, knees out wide, sit the hips back. Um, make sure you work your back two to three times more than your chest. That's so important to do for your posture. With good posture comes good health. I do have a better posture workout if you want, lots of back movements. <sighs> And go ahead, walk it back. We're gonna bring that right leg forward, press into it, getting that left hip flexor. And if you feel stable enough, you're gonna take your left arm up, right hand is gonna go in the inner thigh, and then we're gonna slide down and twist up towards the ceiling. Reach with those fingertips. So you should feel this on your left side. Breathe, it's intense. Ooh, and go ahead and bring it back. Nice job. And go ahead, go at different angles with that foot, opening up the hips different ways. Ooh, and go ahead, bring it forward more. Left foot this time, getting the right hip flexor. If you feel stable enough, right arm up, left hand in the inner thigh, slide down, reach, whoops, reach. <laughs> Breathe. And go ahead and bring it back. Go at different angles again. Now we'll come back to the ground for our meditation, but let's curl the toes and then shift the hips up, slight bend in the knees, relax the head. Think about bringing the crown of the head down to the ground and just listen to my cues. We're gonna have a slight bend in the knees, grab opposite side elbows and rock side to side again, relaxing that neck, dropping it down. <sighs> Drop the arms and straighten out the legs. Now have a slight bend in the right knee and we're gonna walk our hands over to the right. Relax that neck. You should feel this in the left IT band. And let's go ahead and switch. Your hands don't need to come to the ground. I know a lot of you can't do that quite yet, and that's okay. Just move your body in that area, <laughs> and you can hold on to your ankle or your calf, whatever is available. Make sure you have a slight bend in the left knee, straightening the right. And go ahead and bring it back, and let's walk it into plank, drop the knees, and come into crisscross applesauce. Yay! All right, so um, we're gonna get a twist before we head into our meditation. So right hand to the left knee, left hand and back. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist and turn. Look over that left shoulder. Think about bringing the ear, or sorry, the shoulder away from the ear. And go ahead and twist. Shaky, shaky. And let's go ahead, left hand to right knee, right hand and back, inhale tall. Exhale, twist and turn. And go ahead and bring it back. 
Shaky, shaky. All right, guys, so mini meditation is so important. Strengthen our minds after our bodies. You are welcome to lay down if you want to, if that's what's comfortable for you. I'm trying to get more comfortable in this posture, so I'm really working on that. Um, go ahead, and wherever you are now, um, let's close our eyes. Nice, tall spine. Palms facing up on the knees, so we're not clenching onto our knees without even realizing. Let's go ahead, big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Another one. Big inhale. Exhale. And go ahead and return to normal breathing. Keeping those eyes closed, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Nice tall spine. In this day and age, it's so easy to compare ourselves to others with the internet and its availability. So right now, instead of thinking about another person, how you just want to be like them, or you wish you had this or that, I want you to think about your own journey. Where have you grown? Is it in fitness? Could you not do skaters before and you had to walk them out, but you can do them now? Could you not do squat jumps? Just squats. Could you not sink your butt low and now you can? Would you not be able to have completed this workout before, but now you can? Think about those little victories that you've had along your fitness journey. Just take a moment to really be proud of yourself for coming so far, as far as you've come. Or maybe you're just starting and that's totally okay. That's still more than you were doing before. It's just you and you, not you versus someone else. We all have unique journeys. We all have different growth. Just as long as you are taking care of yourself, not only physically, but also mentally with the words that you're saying to yourself or how you describe yourself or what you say to yourself in the mirror, all of those things add up. So I hope you take the time right now to just say something really kind and wonderful to yourself. Maybe it's, I'm proud of you, or I love you, or you're doing amazing, or you're doing better than you thought. Keep going. Take that time to be proud of yourself. So let's go ahead and take three more deep inhales and exhales. Big inhale. Be proud. Exhale. Big inhale. I love you. Exhale. One more big inhale. Good job. And exhale. Go ahead. Slowly wiggle fingers, move side to side, wiggle the toes, whatever it is to wake you up a little bit more. And open those eyes. Hi! <laughs> Alright guys, let's go ahead and clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale, oh, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for today, yay! We did it, yay! Thank you guys so much. It's so wonderful to hear from you guys again and to just kick booty with you again because it's been a while. Um, I got burnt out again, as usual. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to keep on doing these weekly workouts and then we're gonna do a new challenge. So uh, yeah, I am gonna talk close to the camera now, real close, hi. We did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy, awesome, full body workout for the day. Thank you so, so much. Please do take the time to like the video. It takes like a second. Just like a like. Make sure you hit the like one. If your arms are shaky, you might accidentally go to the other one. We don't want that. Um, and also, if you could comment below, even if it's just emoji. I found out they have a UFO emoji, and I got really excited about that. Uh, so if you want to put that, you can totally do that and or just put like how you did in your workout or maybe 
If you want to share, I would love to hear for your meditation, like what did you say to yourself? Were you proud of yourself for a certain exercise that you did that you couldn't do before? I love hearing those things and I really love hearing your guys' growth. So um, I just want to say that I just appreciate you guys so much for the thoughtful comments that you write because I've been doing like research on other channels. I'm like, what are they doing where they're like reaching more people and stuff? And I was looking at their comments and I'm like, man, like my comments like that you guys give is just like so wonderful. So I just want to say that I just appreciate you so, so much. So um, thank you. Thank you. It made me feel just like incredibly grateful. Like, wow, you know, maybe a smaller army, but we have like this army of warriors that's just wonderful and full of like life and love and light. So thank you. That's just me gushing. Um, yeah, but we will have a new challenge soon and I think that's it. Yes, I do have also this beanie. It's our new beanie. I call it the kitty the sparkling kitty corn because it's got a kitty with our sparkles on it. I was really excited about this. Um, it's slouchy, fits awesome, and it fits my bowling ball head. And yeah, so that's in my shop. I do have a link in my description if you want to pick that up. Um, I always write a nice handwritten letter with it because I just appreciate you guys so much. So thank you again. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Do all the things and I will see you next week. Okay. Rawr.